Now hear me out guys, the AK-74U Max Recoil is actually pretty damn good. And now you might think I'm crazy, but there's various reasons why this class setup just works. So check out the gameplay, watch how I dominate with this thing, and then check out the class setup and you have to try out the weapon yourself. Grab some popcorn, enjoy. So here we are, Garrison Hardpoint, the one and only using the Max Oh my god, this thing recoils a shit ton. Holy shit, dude. But this gun is is actually really freaking good. Now, there's a couple of reasons. Oh my god, other than recoil control, it's pretty difficult. Um, there's other reasons though what makes this class setup and this gun is still pretty damn solid and good. For example, the, the strafe speed is actually phenomenal with these attachments. Yeah, baby. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Yo, this thing is it's pretty solid. If you may if you ask me. Jump over. Kill you. Oh, it's hard to beat that sniper. Wait, he, he said screw you guys at hill. I'm playing for kill. Oh my god. Reload. Screw your shot. Oh my. Oh! Oh! I, I can't. Oh, dude. I can't control this recoil. Oh, my. I'm frying, dude. I'm frying so. <sighs> so, I know you guys are like thinking I'm crazy for using this class setup right here. 74U, max recoil. Just load it up straight into the game. Play some garrison hardpoint here. And the 74U is very interesting because you guys know it's one of the best guns in the game right now. One of my favorite guns. But one of the pros about the 74U is the same, like, recoil control you can have on this gun. You can beam of people so easily, man. We are right now using, yes, five attachments, 74U, max recoil. Now, what when, when I say max recoil, basically saying, like, <laughs> oh, my God, dude. We're talking about full recoil. Like, it, the gun, when you shoot it, it bounces, okay? We're using no recoil attachment guns, uh, attachments at all you guys know there's a couple of uh, recoil attachments you can put on your weapons we are using none we're using attachments that give you no recoil control so you get the max default control of the recoil of the weapon but there's pros and cons to it right there's still some other good attachments you get to experiment and kind of try and that's what i'm rocking right now and now one beautiful attachment i'm using right now is the freaking task force baby and you guys know how much i praise this barrel this barrel got ga'd by pros and I get to use it again because we're going max. You guys got to give this gun a try. If you cannot control recoil that well, oh my God, I would not recommend it to you. This gun, like, dude, so much recoil, but it kills so fast if you hit your shots. Now, like I said before, other than the stupid bad recoil it can have on this weapon, there's other reasons why the class setup is good. For one, I am using five attachments and I get to run a 40 round mag on it that's one plus thing about this class setup another another plus about this hello is because i am using task force okay but but there's more now usually you guys know i use the speed grip attachment right and that gives you horizontal recoil control but to top it off it also gives you a lot of movement speed but it has some cons to it you know i'm using a whole another attachment dude i can still beam this man i have some task force some task force experience man and i can still shoot this thing pretty i want to say straight but like consistently but i definitely could do it pretty well so that's some range this guy still dude that was hard that was a little bit hard to shoot that guy a little bit so i have a lot of strafe speed i have a lot of ads strafe speed and i always preach about it in this game how like strafe speed and ads speed when you're aimed in and like strafing like this is so freaking good in this game like I don't, I don't like to gas things, but it's just, it's, it's actually so good, guys. Oh, why is there so many people here? Good help, teammate. What's this guy's name? Yash Cash Money. That's a legit name. But I'm twisted, baby. Lord, I come for the game. Okay, what? Am, I'm not gonna beam that kid. I don't, I don't got that class. I don't got the normal 73 class here. Try this. Let's try this angle right here. Dude, this guy's so twisted. He came around the corner, free firing me, dude. That is absurd. As always, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure to smash that like button and leave a like. I mean, it's essentially the same thing, but you already know the vibes. 
Going straight into the crossroads. We are playing a sniper once again. Nice little beams here. One of my spawn behind us. Never mind. I don't think so. And I will have the class set up at the end of the videos. I decided to do it once to have the class set up at the start. But for the most part, I really like the whole class setup idea at the end of the video. I want you guys to enjoy the gameplay. Enjoy the content. Enjoy the freaking beams. And then, of course, watch the class setup in the end. I know some of you guys might not be the biggest fan of it. Oh, almost. Oh, I feel like I'm 1v6ing this team. I just killed you. You're back for more? I'm just... Should I spawn? Should I spawn kill you again, brother? Here, let me activate this. Look, here you go. Hello, brother. Should I spawn kill you guys again? I'm just a one-man army in the back of the spawn. Oh no, he came out of nowhere. He's a ninja. He is ninja. Got you. Got you. Oh no. Got you. It don't matter what I do, I'm gonna lose. My name is Apathy, and I have a clue why it's SBMM. So what you gonna do but lose? Like, do I gotta hold the cell? Damn, these guys got setups, bro. They're calling out. Well, guys, this is looking like a GG. I want to hit at least 100 kills, but I don't think that's even gonna happen. I think I have an AFK teammate. We're playing 5v6. I hate losing, man. Whatever. It's, even though it's a pub, like, I don't want to lose the pub. Like, there's a reason why I'm going hard and trying to win this thing. It doesn't matter what I do if you're just playing man down. You know what I, you know what I mean? This guy's trying to get long shots. I'm going to beam him with the freaking thing. Like, this class setup's actually pretty damn good, but it still shoots a little bit circles. A little tough. A little bit tough sometimes. I can't even see that guy. Shot punch. Shot punch. This guy, dude, this guy's faded. He's going for long shots and then he just ignores me. Like he's so freaking faded. Hello. Well, hello. You guys didn't expect me there, did you? Okay, I did not expect you guys to spawn that close. All right, guys. Now the best part. I know a lot of you guys love this part. The class setup. We're going to be talking about the AK-74U Max Recoil Knuckle Buster. Now these are the perks I'm running. Kind of the tags, anything. If you guys want to take a look at this really quickly. Let's go actually to the class setup itself. So this is a five attachment class for the barrel task force. Now this is the best barrel on the AK-74U. you. is so freaking good overall. This attachment is amazing. Now the negatives, the cons, it does give your gun some pretty bad recoil, but hey, that's the whole point of the video, right? We're doing a lot of recoil. So next we're going to go to the under barrel. We're going to be running the bruiser grip. Now, obviously with speed grip and spetnaz grip, even I think the four grip, that all gives you recoil control. We're not doing any recoil control. So we are running the Bruiser Grip. Now this attachment is good because it gives you movement speed, it gives you sprinting movement speed, it gives you shooting movement speed, aim walking movement speed. Aim walking movement speed and shooting movement speed is so good because when you pre-aim and you're shooting and strafing, it's just so amazing. So this attachment actually works really well with this class setup. For the magazine, we're gonna be running a 40 round drum. Um, this attachment is just really good. Very low cons and the extra 10 bullets is good, especially if you're playing against a lot of people. For the handle, we're gonna run the good old elastic wrap and the skeletal stock for the stock. They're amazing, what can I say? Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.